Hi, this is Josh from Pinoco, and today I want to show you how to combine shapes in Inkscape for laser cutting. To do this, we'll be using two key menu commands. The first is path combine, and the second is path union. Before we look at this process in greater detail, let's check out an example of shapes that have been combined incorrectly in Inkscape for laser cutting. At first glance, this looks perfect for laser cutting. There is a thin blue line which traces around the letters on the top and a rectangular base on the bottom. However, if we change our view using View, Display Mode, Outline, you can see that all is not what it seems. This outline view reveals the true vector content of a file and lets us know what will actually be made. In this case, what it has revealed is that these letters and this rectangle are not truly connected. What I have done instead is place white fills over the blue lines that I do not want cut out, which unfortunately would not have worked. When it comes to cutting lines and vector engraving lines, the laser cutter will cut or engrave them wherever they are present in the design, even if they are covered by something else. The white fills I placed over these cutting lines would have been ignored, and the lines underneath would have been cut out. So let's combine these shapes correctly. First, we select all the shapes we want to combine together. Then we use the path combine command, which combines these shapes into a single unit. Then we use the path union command to turn all these separate shapes into a single path running around the outside of them and to remove all the lines which would otherwise separate them. Now when we change to View, Display Mode, Outline, we can see that the letters in the rectangle below are truly a single vector object. Once again, this outline view is a true representation of what will be laser cut, and this time it's what we want. Let's go through this process one last time. We'll open an empty template and create a collection of overlapping lines, which are formatted for laser cutting. So we've got a blue 255 and A255 stroke paint and a stroke style of 0.01 millimeters. Okay, we've got something vaguely arty. Let's turn it into a single object for laser cutting. First, we'll select all of the shapes that we want to combine. Now, we use the path combine command, followed by the path union command. All of these shapes have now been combined into a single object ready for laser cutting with Pinoco. We'll do a final double check by using the view display mode outline command, and it's definitely correct. So that's all there is to it. I hope this technique might be useful to you in the future, for making new exciting projects with Pinoco. Thanks.